Hey guys, today's video is going to be about your base running and leads and jumps from second base. So I know this is the same place first base was, but use your imagination. This is second base, that's third base. Okay. As important, probably more important than it was at first base, you have to know where your defense is playing right now. Not only the outfielders and that it helps you with good jumps to score on a base hit or to get back on line drives, but also where your infielders are, specifically your middle infielders, to know how far your lead can be. And you can't be scared at second base. You can't be a scared base runner on, that, on the base pass. Teach the kids how to do this properly and to be a threat, and that when you're on the base pass, you're putting pressure on the defense, not just hoping somebody hits the ball in the gap for you to score. So getting off the base, we're so used to doing it with our left foot, we can do it that way, but it's not as important. There's not anybody holding you on that he can throw back quickly. But you know where your shortstop is. You know where your second baseman is. You just looked when you were on the bag. As you get off the bag, remember this. This is probably the most important teach of this whole video. There's only one guy who can get you out. The pitcher. He's the guy who's got the ball right now. And I see so many kids at shockingly old, older uh, ages getting off the bag, turning around, looking where the shortstop and the second baseman are, more so the shortstop. So if the pitcher's onto that and he knows that you're that, that scared little base runner and he's watching you and you step out and you turn around to look at the shortstop and when you do, he's turning and he's cutting, you're dead. Keep your eye on the ball. He's, when he turns and fires, that's when you have to get back. So you know where these guys are, you get your secondary in a straight line to third base with less than two outs, okay? When there's two outs, we're back here a couple steps because all we're doing here is with two outs, we're not trying to do anything but get a good turn and score on a base hit, okay? So we're, we're setting up, like at first base, we do that little banana turn, we're setting up an angle for that banana turn already with two outs. But with less than two outs, we know where our defenders are in the outfield and the infield. We know the situation of the game. Know the situation. You got. You can't be tagging up in the wrong situation. You can't be not running hard in the wrong situation. Know the outs. Know the hitter. Know everything about the game. The more you anticipate the situation in the game, the better base runner, better baseball player you'll be. Okay, so. You got your secondary, same thing at first base. When, you, when you're shuffling off with your secondary, make sure that your shoulders remain square to the plate. Getting in this position is an open invitation for the catcher to throw in behind you. Timing is the same. When that ball is in the hitting zone, you are landing with your foot on the ground, ready to react in any direction. Ball's on the ground, obviously depending on the situation, if there's runners on first and second. Ball on the round, you gotta go. Ball in the air, you're reading it. Line drive, you gotta freeze. And those are things you have to repeat to yourself over and over and over. You have to be prepared. When you're in your lead position, your first base coach is your eyes for the shortstop, okay? You're looking at the pitcher because he's the guy who can get you out. You're not turning around and looking at the, at the shortstop. You have an idea of the second baseman is breaking hard through your peripheral vision, but you could also see and hear your first base coach, and he's gonna tell you when he thinks you need to get back or to get off, get off, get off. And the shortstop is always gonna be making moves in behind you to try to get you to be nervous and to do anything he can to not let you get a good jump towards your next base. So you have to be calm and you also have to have a lead that you feel comfortable with. If it's this massive, massive lead, you're always thinking I gotta get back. And if it's too short, you're not being aggressive enough and not helping your team, okay? So be aware. Watch the pitcher, he's got the ball. He's the only one that can get you out. Let your first base coach help you out. A lot of guys, third base coaches are helping you out too, but Listen to your coaches. Okay, so now, after you take your secondary again, you just checked all the outfielders. When you see the ball is not going to be caught and you're breaking right off the ball, it's very similar to all the other running techniques. You're getting into that sprint position as, you, as, you, as fast as you possibly can and running into third base, you're listening to your coach. When the ball is hit, 
you're going to have a good idea. I think I can score, or that was hit too hard right at the center fielder. I don't think I, whatever it is, but you have to listen to your coach. You got to have your eyes up to see him. Coaches are going to be waving you on or holding you up. Some coaches don't yell loud enough. Sometimes you don't hear them. You got to be able to see them too. So you have to be aware. You have to be running with your head up the first few steps. You got to stay low, but then you got to have your eyes on the third base coach. Okay? Base running should be so much fun and should put, be putting so much pressure on the opposition to make plays to get you out. So a whole lot of stuff right there, but again, if you practice it over and over, your players will get better, they're filling their toolbox with skills, and your teams will get better. Hope that helps.